the Biden administration is changing course on the new infrastructure package. Some of you may qualify to receive a bonus payment from the Internal Revenue Service. Unemployed Americans are urging lawmakers to pass more financial aid. Here's your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. The two winners of this week's $75 Amazon gift card giveaway are Liz Brzezinski and Luis Gonzalez. Congratulations to both of you. Next Friday evening, I will be giving away more $75 Amazon gift cards. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. According to MoneyWise, early tax filers may get a treat this year. If you have filed your taxes for 2020, you could be getting one of the bonus checks or plus up payments that the IRS distributed in the past two weeks. The IRS stated in a press release that you may also be due to receive your third economic impact payment. The IRS stated in a press release that you may also be due to receive your third economic impact payment this very week, as the IRS has been sending out payments through the month of April. The press release states that the seventh batch of nearly 2 million economic impact payments from the American Rescue Plan began processing April 23rd with an official payment date of April 28th. Some people may have seen their money in their bank accounts marked as pending prior to April 28th. The Internal Revenue Service says these funds total $4.3 billion across nearly 2 million payments. Some people, however, who already received their third check could be receiving a plus up payment if their economic situation changed between 2019 and 2020. If their 2020 tax return shows a new child or dependent, or if your income dropped, you could be getting more money. This is especially true if you didn't qualify for the full $1,400 in the third round based on your 2019 returns, but you do based on your 2020 filings. The IRS says if you had not been required to file taxes in previous years, but did in 2020, you may also have more money coming to you. The Internal Revenue Service has so far distributed at least 165 million third stimulus checks. The tax agency says Americans have received roughly $400 billion in stimulus payments from the $1.9 trillion economic relief package that President Joe Biden signed into law in mid-March. There are a few reasons why you may not have received your third stimulus payment yet. The Internal Revenue Service has been doing a colossal bit of multitasking with both tax returns and the millions of stimulus checks. The ninth batch, totaling $1.8 billion, were officially paid out to Americans on May 12th. The latest wave of payments included nearly half a million direct deposits, plus approximately 460,000 paper checks that had been mailed, which takes much more time. Americans in line for direct deposits will almost surely receive their payments before those slated to get their debit cards or good old paper checks, which can take weeks to reach their intended recipients. You can check the IRS Get My Payment tool to see how your money is being delivered or whether it has been sent out. If the tax people have you down to receive a check or debit card, be careful you don't accidentally throw away your envelope from the IRS. When the first stimulus checks went out last year, some recipients mistook their mailed checks or debit cards for junk mail and tossed them out. It also may be possible that the IRS has sent your payment to an old address, which means your check will need to be reissued. If you recently switch bank accounts, the IRS will not have your new account information on file until you provide it to them. If you have not seen your stimulus money, it could also mean someone else has beaten you to the punch. The previous two relief payments were off limits to debt collectors, but not the most recent one. Today, the White House senior advisor, Cedric Ridman, said that President Joe Biden will change course on his massive infrastructure bill if inaction on the costly proposal seems inevitable. When asked how much longer Biden would pursue a bipartisan deal before moving on without congressional Republicans, Richmond told CNN, he wants a deal. He wants it soon, but if there's meaningful negotiations taking place in a bipartisan manner, he's willing to let that play out. But again, he will not let inaction be the answer. And when he gets to the point where it looks like that, it's inevitable, 
you'll see him change course. Step dealing with COVID. We knew we were coming out of it. Vaccines were going in arms. States were opening up like my state in Oklahoma was rapidly opening in February. And there was this dialogue about what would happen in the economy. Unfortunately, in the middle of that dialogue, my Democratic colleagues determined we're going to go this on our own. Well, we still stay engaged. One of the big issues, though, was unemployment. Would there be additional unemployment benefits that would be done? Now, myself and multiple others raised the issue on both sides of the aisle. How would this be handled? Now, if it was a year before, literally in March of 2020, there was an extension of unemployment because unemployment was at 15% at that point, and there were no jobs to be had. But in March of this year, when the agreement was finally made and a straight partisan bill was passed, we weren't at 15% unemployment. It was at 6% and driving down to the floor. Now we're below 4%. The challenge that we have is there's additional unemployment benefits that have extended all the way until September. Now that bill passed with straight partisan bill in March. By the Sunday after Palm Sunday, when I was back in my state, I was already having business owners catching me and saying, what in the world? I can't hire now because I'm competing for wages with someone in the federal government. What does that mean for right now? Now in May, what does that mean for us in Oklahoma? In Oklahoma, there are 37% more jobs available now than there were a year and a half ago before the pandemic began when we were at the best economy in 50 years. Literally, there are more job openings in Oklahoma now than there have ever been in the history of our records. Let me run that past everybody again. There are more openings in Oklahoma right now for jobs than ever in the history of our record keeping for our state. But we can't fill jobs because people are making so much money on unemployment and they get the first $10,000 of that written off on their taxes those two pieces together incentivize people literally to be able to stay at home. Our state has had to take a pretty radical step, quite frankly. We've stepped in with 20 other states and have ended the unemployment assistance, but we've had to take it the next step because we have so many job openings in our state. We're literally giving a $1,200 bonus to anyone who will go back to work. For the first 20,000 people, that'll actually get off of unemployment benefits and go back to work, we are paying a $1,200 bonus to those individuals to return to work. So everyone, that is the end of the video for this evening. I hope you found this video helpful today. Next Friday evening, I will be giving away more $75 Amazon gift cards. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a very, very blessed Sunday evening.